Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Udo X86 Advance Plus and I'm running Laka from a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive. I've done several videos on different emulator front ends for this board. I'll leave a playlist in the description below. This model runs the quad core Celeron 3160 CPU at 1.6 gigahertz and it does turbo up to about 2.3. I also have four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM built into the board. So this board is going to emulate anything that the Raspberry Pi 3 can, and it actually does a little better with Neo Geo, for me at least. I don't notice much lag within the games I like to play when there's lots of sprites on screen. No, it will not do Wii or GameCube. It's just not powerful enough. I tested it on different operating systems. It will not work. PSP works pretty well. There are three games that it will not play, and that'll be Arctic Edge, God of War Chains of Olympus, and Midnight Club 3. Those are the three games I could not run at a decent frame rate, even on the lowest settings, but everything else from 1x to 3x resolution should work. I cannot get sound out of HDMI using Laka, but it does work out of the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, or if you have a USB dongle, it'll also work through that. Dreamcast works okay. If you're using Recast, there are a few games that are a bit laggy, but if you're using Windows and Null DC, I've had really good luck with that. 60 FPS, the sound works. Null DC hasn't been developed for in a while, but it does work on this board, and in my opinion, it's one of the best Dreamcast emulators out, still to this day. It will not play PS2. I have tried several games and I get anywhere from 2 to 15 FPS. It is just not feasible for the CPU chip to play PS2 games. So like I said at the beginning, I've tested a lot of different operating systems with emulation front ends from RetroPie x86, Botticera, Windows. Laka is not going to increase performance on this board at all because all of those are pretty much using RetroArch cores just like Laka. So you're using the same thing within a different operating system. One thing I should have mentioned was Nintendo 64. Now the emulation with Moopin 64 or Gloopin 64 sucks. You have to use Project 64 within Windows to get good performance out of this board. After all, it's a very low powered CPU. Even though it's an x86 CPU, very, very low power. It's like netbook quality. But that doesn't mean you can't play thousands and thousands and thousands of different emulated games on the Udo x86. It's gonna do anything that the Raspberry Pi 3 can, but if you're looking at this for emulation, I would definitely stick with the Raspberry Pi 3 even Nintendo 64 using Moopin with the Pi 3 has better performance than this board, and it all comes down to the emulator itself being optimized for the chipset. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave a playlist down below. I've tested a lot of stuff with the Udo x86, so definitely check that out. And if you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more coming. Like always, thanks for watching.